Hey everybody, here is a really exciting look at Z Plugin uh, Multi Map Exporter. Pretty sweet. Okay, new project Lightbox project Dynamesh 16. Okay, I want to make a sword. So we've got symmetry on. Let's increase our draw size and just rough out the shape of our sword. Uh, that's too intense. Nice, okay. Perfect. Nice, here is the handle. And then here is where the sword starts. So let's mask a portion of this out. Control click to invert it. Uh, get the front uh, view, shift front, so you've got a front view, and then uh, let's see, move in the up direction, control shift so you can extrude while you do this, okay, that's that, and then one more time, okay, there's our sword, now let's adjust this a little bit so it, it's sharp at the point. Okay, perfect. Okay, I like our sword. <laughs> hmm, that is lopsided. Okay, uh, let's fix that. Control, wait, yeah. Okay, rotate. Yeah, let's make that nice and straight. Okay. That is uh, better. Okay, we don't have to worry about sides. Okay, now let's make a texture map. So this 3,531, that'll be the base. UV Master, unwrap. Ta-da, okay. Then we go to, wait, yeah, okay. Create, no, wait, sorry, UV map. Uh, 20, 2048. Let's do that. Okay. Then texture. Oh, we need to poly paint it first. Okay, so BCB. Okay, and uh, let's pick a nice starting look. Okay, color fill uh, MRGB. Make sure that's on. Color fill object. Okay, that is our base color. Then. Okay, this will be the sword color. Uh, stroke, spray, no Z add. Okay, nice. Zelda style. Okay, now for our handle. Oh, wait, hold on. Control Z, let's go back up to. Oh, sorry, we need to control D a few times. 912, 912,000, that's good. Okay, now we can paint like crazy. So, MRGB, now we've got a nice looking sword. Okay, then the base will be a dark green, or, sorry, this will be a dark green, or this green, whatever that is. Okay, now the base will be dark. I don't know. Handle, look. Okay. Perfect. Okay, there's our sword. Oh man. Totally didn't see that. Gotta fix that. Okay. Yeah, there is our sword. Now let's add some bumps to it. So let's BCB. Now, let's create the texture first. Okay. Um, UV map, 2048, that's good. Texture map, new from polypaint. Right there, there's our sword. Okay, we've got our texture down. Now, we need to worry about our displacement map. To do this, at a high resolution, we need to make it look bumpy. So... Okay, turn MRGB off. You could have that on, I guess, but we've already created our texture map, so that's kind of silly. 
Um, oh, that's nice. Let's turn down the Z intensity. No, let um, draw drag rectangle. Right, and yeah, okay. Sweet. Bumpy handle. Bumpy everywhere. Okay, that's good. Now that that is probably going to be enough to create a nice displacement map. Okay, so let's go to the lowest subdivision level. Okay, and displacement. Create displacement map right there, and we can increase its intensity and things like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we need a cavity map. So what is that going to look like? Um, uh, BCB. Let's um, go to a higher resolution. Nice. Okay. Now, freehand. And then, uh, let's... Yeah, alpha 28. And... I don't know. Just making designs on my sword. I should have had uh, symmetry on so I could have uh, made this look better. Okay. So now we need to create a mask. Mask, mask. Okay, then mask by cavity. See what that brings up. Oh, let's see. Shrink mask. Now that too crazy. Oh, uh, mask by cavity intensity. Yeah, there we go. Then let's do it a little bit lower. Good. Okay, now sharpen mask. Okay, there is our mask. Now let's let's see. Okay, mask by Okay, I, I like our mask. Now let's go to uh, cavity masking. No, yeah. Okay, mask. Yeah, we made that. Mask alpha. Okay. That creates that. So then Let's go to Z plugin, multi map exporter, see what we okay, we've made our cavity mask. Okay, ambient occlusion AO Masking. Huh, okay, uh let's sharpen mask. Now, actually, I let's go back to mask by cavity. I like this better. Then sharpen mask. Okay, that okay. Now, as long as that mask is there, then we can go to Z plugin. Now we've got our displacement map. Vector displacement is very similar to a regular displacement. So this is our our displacement map, and we can go to. Create a normal map. Lowest subdivision. Normal map. Create normal map. Okay, there's that. And vector displacement, you can't see, but it works anyway. And when I go up to Z plugin, now we've got all of our maps set up. So displacement, vector displacement, normal, texture from polypaint. Right, uh, ambient occlusion, cavity. Okay, so let's uh, create a texture size. 8192. 
Okay, create all maps. And let's go multi-map export. Okay, uh, let's uh, name this folder new export. Okay. Uh, sword. Okay, save, exporting, good times. And I'll show you what's really cool in a little bit. Okay, exporting, sword, exporting, creating vector displacement map. Pretty exciting. Nice. Writing open EXR file. I think that is the cavity map that you can use in other programs and things like that. But all I've got right now is ZBrush and Unreal Engine. I'm not sure if Unreal Engine can accept cavity maps. Who knows? Okay, still thinking. This will be fun. This is only a, this is less than 4,000 polygons, so if this looks really awesome, I might bring it into Unreal Engine, but who knows? Oh, okay, it's still writing open EXR file, because I gave it a really big texture size, so uh, knock on wood, hopefully my computer doesn't crash. Okay, thinking, thinking. Sweet, but if this works, then this would show everybody how to make all sorts of maps very quickly in uh, ZBrush 4R7. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Exporting sword, sphere, whatever that said. Creating normal map, okay. Map extraction completed. Perfect. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that, that's so pretty. Sweet. If this looked a little better, I could probably sell this sword, but I made those crazy stuff, or crazy lines at the end. Nice. Okay, texture map. Exporting sword something. Ambient occlusion. Okay. This thing. Or, I don't know. Okay. So that is the ambient occlusion map. Exporting sword poly... Oh man, it goes too fast. Okay, yeah. Cavity map. Exciting. Then the mask. Sweet, look at that. Good times. All maps created and exported. Time taken, 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Sweet, okay. So... If we wanted to, look, doesn't matter where you look at your folders, but okay, new map export. Let's open this, open a new window. These are all the maps that were just created from that multi-map exporter. Okay, let's see. Um, here are two versions of my diffuse texture map. Cool, 8192, so these are really big files. Preview, just to see how big they are. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. They're, they're pretty big. Yeah, okay. Um, so, let's see. Um, I th this is my ambient occlusion map, which, you know, really sharpens those um, uh, curves in your uh, object and stuff. And here is my cavity map, yeah, which we created with the uh, mask. And here is my uh, normal map with tangent selected in the ZBrush. So your bumps really stand out a lot easier when you have this applied to a low poly model. Okay, here's my texture map. Oh, yep, and then back to what we were just looking at. Nice ambient occlusion, right on. So that is a great look at uh, multi-map exporter in ZBrush 4R7. Let's see what some of those look like right now. Um, it looks pretty crazy because, uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, let's turn that on. 
I kind of ran through this pretty quick. But now this is our displacement map. Pretty cool. If I had any direction, this could really have some class. Uh, texture map. That's our texture map. Oh. Looks really sharp. And let's see. Yeah, we looked at displacement. And we could invert this to pull those uh, uh, bumps inside instead of out. Our normal map looks really nice. Cool. Vector displacement. You can't really see that, but it's there. It just uh, makes the normal map a lot sharper. And yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.